Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at how to take a screenshot on your device. So the way that you do this now that there's actually no physical home button and everything is on screen is to hold down the volume down button and the power button. You're going to see your screen kind of zoom out and then zoom back in and then some options might come up on the screen and then disappear if you do nothing. Now what's also nice is the screenshot does stay up in your notifications until you dismiss it. So now if you swipe down on the screenshot, you're actually able to see the share, edit, and then delete buttons. So tapping on share will allow you to share the screenshot, edit it will allow you to add some filters and even draw on the screenshot, and then delete it will obviously delete the screenshot from your gallery. What's also nice is there are some advanced options. So if we come into the settings, and if we go into advanced features, and the two we're going to be taking a look at are going to be the smart capture and palm swipe that I've actually moved to the top of the screen. So palm swipe we're going to take a look at first. This will allow you to actually take a screenshot by swiping the edge of your hand across the screen while keeping your hand on the screen. Now I found this to be a little difficult when using a case with the Galaxy S8. I have the S8 Plus here and I have a spec case on it and this is a little difficult to actually get to work. So I leave it on just because I might get it to work sometimes but for the most part I really can't get it to work. Sometimes it ends up uh, moving my display around or accessing my apps edge panel. It just is kind of not really that great to use with the case that I currently have on. But whenever I have the phone outside of the case, palm swipe to capture works perfectly and I actually like using it. It's really easy. Now the other option is Smart Capture. I really like this one because it does give us some options for capturing hidden areas of the screen, drawing on the screenshot, cropping it, and even sharing it. Those were the buttons you saw show up on the screen when I first took a screenshot. So if I go ahead and do that again, those options down below are the Smart Capture area. And we're going to actually take a look at those by going into an app. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Chrome and I've already loaded in a website here. Now this is going to work perfectly with something that actually has scrollable content. So this could be inside of any app. I've just chosen Chrome for this example, but you could be in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you want to be in as long as it has scrollable content. So I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot. Then I'm going to tap on scroll capture. So it's going to scroll down capture more of the screenshot and then go ahead and expand that screenshot the more that I tap on scroll capture and I can hold down scroll capture and you can see that my screenshot is just growing and growing and growing and growing the more that I hold that down so now I have a very very long screenshot and once I kind of let go and don't do anything in these controls it's just going to kind of disappear so now I can even draw on it crop it and then share that screenshot then tapping on the screenshot is going to load it in and now I can see this giant screenshot that I have here and if I zoom in it's actually full resolution native to my device resolution here that is but you can see as I'm swiping down it does look like a full web page but this is actually a legitimate screenshot that my phone took and stitched together automatically this is a great option for any of you that want to actually screenshot multiple things that have been stitching those images together yourself, the Galaxy S8 will do that for you. And then you can send it off to your friends, send it off in an email to a client, whatever you want to do with it. But I find that that option is really useful when taking a screenshot on this device. So for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to State of Tech. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and we'll see you in the next one.